Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan, I am with Match Grade Machine, and in today's video, I'm going to cover our top three suggestions for long range, lightweight hunting rifles. So before we get started, why don't you go ahead and drop a comment and guess which three cartridges you think we are going to pick for a long range, capable hunting rifle for big game. Using the Thompson Center Encore platform, it gives you the capabilities to shoot some large calibers, but it is restricted in certain aspects and some cartridges are not compatible with it. The reason that they are not compatible with it is one of two reasons. A large amount of bolt thrust caused by the Magnum. In a break action rifle, what the forces are trying to do is open up the frame and it can actually stretch the frame from the barrel. Usually the barrel will survive, it will not explode or do anything like that but it can stretch and cause damage to your frames, which is why we do not build barrels in certain cartridges. Some of the most common cartridges that we are asked to build, but we are unable to build, are some of the Ultra Magnums because of the case diameter, a 338 Lapua, its case diameter, as well as pressure. We cannot offer the Nosler cartridges, such as 28 Nosler or 30 Nosler. We are also incapable of making some of the large Weatherby cartridges as well. Any of their Magnum bolt face size Weatherbys, we are unable to make. Now these top three cartridges are not in any particular order. What they are is they are actually three different bore diameters to give you the option of what grain bullets that you're trying to hunt with, as well as different combinations of velocities and types of cartridges as well. Coming in on our number three spot is our 6.5 PRC. Now the 6.5 PRC is a newer cartridge offering and it is made by Hornady and it has somewhat limited factory options available, but in those factory options it is very high quality ammunition including the Precision Hunter line which is a 143 grain ELDX which I have personally had very good success with in our 6.5 PRC Thompson Center Encores. It is capable of producing sub half inch groups right out of the box and is an awesome long range capable hunting rifle. The 6.5 PRC with the 143 grain ELDX should be capable of producing 2780 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle, which should translate to a plenty of energy downrange out to a couple hundred yards on big game, which should be no problem for taking down something large like an elk or deer in the Western States. For the Hornady 6.5 PRC, we do suggest going with a 24 inch barrel. If you wanna go absolute lightweight, I wouldn't recommend anything less than 22 inches uh, to get the full advantages of the 6.5 PRC and its 60 grain powder charge. You're going to want to be in that 22 plus inch barrel range. Now it should be noted that our rifle without an optic does weigh just under seven pounds, which is fairly lightweight for a Magnum capable cartridge. And then the scope on top of it brings the overall weight up to nine pounds. I did run the cartridges through a calculator to tell you how much recoil foot pounds of energy it will create with a seven pound rifle. And with the 6.5 PRC, it comes in at 22.5 pounds of energy of recoil on a seven pound firearm using the 143 grain bullet. Number two on our long range capable lightweight hunting rifles is a seven millimeter rem mag. <laughs> Nothing wrong with going with the classic seven millimeter rem mag. It is a belted magnum case. It is a long action cartridge and it flat out performs in the Thompson Center rifles. This one's a nice balance between the larger cartridge I'm about to talk about and the slightly smaller cartridge of the 6.5 PRC. There are tons of options for factory ammunition in the 7 Ren Mag from many different companies because it's been around for so long, but in our testing and what we're going to talk about today is the 162 grain ELDX loading from Hornady again in their Precision Hunter line. I've been out and shot this at 500 yards and shot a half MOA group at 500 yards with a fluted heavy factory contour here and it shot awesome. I shot about a two and a half inch group on steel, nice centered up impacts, exactly what Hornady said that their velocity was going to be in our barrel, which I believe was a 24 inch test barrel we were using. Now on the seven millimeter rem mag, the barrel length that I would suggest is right at that 24 inch mark. Again, you're doing a similar powder charge of 60 grains of powder-ish, um, up to 70 grains, depending on the types of powders and bullets that you're shooting. But overall, you're going to want that 24 inches of barrel to get those good high velocities and our heavy factory contour. The heavy factory contour is an 810 diameter all the way out. And what that gives you is enough rigidity to have an accurate rifle barrel, 
but not too heavy that you can't carry it around. Again, this rifle package without an optic is just under seven pounds, so plenty lightweight to go walking around in the mountains with. The seven rim mag and the 162 grain ELDX out of a 24 inch barrel should get you right around 3,100 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle, which again should carry plenty of energy downrange to drop that big game right in its tracks. Using the energy calculator again for the seven millimeter rim mag, it calculated that the recoil energy would be right around 28.8 foot pounds of energy to your shoulder. And finally, our number three pick for a long range lightweight hunting rifle is going to be the 300 Winchester Magnum. This is an older design, but it still packs a punch to this day and will drop any big game in North America. This is an awesome cartridge that you can take with you high up into the mountains and drop big game at long distances. Now, this does have tons of factory ammunition available, but you are going to have more recoil with this shooting a larger bullet at similar speeds to the lighter bullets as previously mentioned. So the 300 Win Mag is going to deliver the most kick to your shoulder and in our recoil calculator it brought it up to 35 foot-pounds of energy to your shoulder in a seven pound package. Obviously if you add weight like an optic it's going to reduce the felt recoil on that round but still it will be the highest recoiling cartridge of these three. Now for the sake of our argument we use the Hornady 180 grain Hornady Whitetail ammunition just to run some calculations on it and the muzzle energy out of this is going to be 3,500 foot-pounds at the crown, and it will send tons of energy downrange to drop big game right on its tracks yet again. The 300 Win Mag has been around for a while. It is a fan favorite, and it has tons of military surplus ammunition, as well as tons of hunting ammunition available for it. You will see a large variety of 30 cal projectile weights, anywhere from very light 130 grain, that'd be extremely light in a 300 Win Mag, all the way up to 230 grain bullets, depending on which manufacturer you're looking at, but tons of bullet options on the 30 cals, which makes it an extremely versatile cartridge. You can add more weight, which will reduce velocity, or you can go lighter weight and get those extreme velocities. Well, all right, guys, what did you think of our list? The top three long range hunting cartridges that we suggest for a Thompson Center Encore platform. The Thompson Center Encore single shot rifle. What's really great about these is that there is no action to deal with. So they're super compact. So you're getting a short overall length, but you still get the longer barrel and the short compact length for the most velocities down range. It's great. It's a great rifle to grab and hide into the mountains with and you should be plenty capable of taking down any big game in North America with any of those three cartridges we just mentioned. Well, hey, we greatly appreciate your time. Please drop a comment of what you thought of our cartridge choices. Let us know if you've had success with any of these three and share with us what your hunting cartridge is of choice. And we will see you guys in the next one.